His name is synonymous with men's fashion and style. Now, the ups and downs of Oswald Burteng's life is a successful London tailor is the subject of a fly on the wall documentary. The film, which has been 12 years in the making, is released this week. Here's our arts correspondent, Brenda Romanus. <laughs> That's what makes me sexy. So when, you know, when I want to be sexy, I go see my man and he hook it up. Star-studded endorsements have become as much a part of Oswald Boateng's signature as the way he's revolutionized menswear with sharp tailored suits and color. And now the highs and lows of his ascent to celebrity status have been documented in a feature film, A Man's Story. There was a moment where I was a little, I wasn't necessarily that sure, but I, because I'd already given in to the process of it, I thought this, let's let it be, and that's what I did. His drive to succeed finally had him located in Savile Row by the age of just 28, making him the youngest and the first black tailor with that prestigious address. How important is London still to you as a designer? I mean, this is where I started. I love London, and um, no, it is, it's the, the heartbeat. I mean, it's what's enabled me to design in Paris, Milan, New York, that the, cult, the cultural mix, the, the ability to be appreciated by being different and creative. Alongside high points such as becoming the creative director for Givenchy and OBE and pulling off the biggest men's fashion show in history, the theft of his collection and two failed marriages are all laid bare. Men always find it difficult to challenge their business lives and their personal lives. And so um, I think many men will understand that journey of what I went through. A Man's Story is released this Friday. Brenda Manus, BBC London News.